guys and welcome to this new exciting day. Today is Monday and the first thing I want to do is start the old Epic Games launcher, okay? Uh, this is the Epic Games launcher. You all know and hate it because it is slow as f I've been scrolling by the way right now and nothing is happening. It is frozen and for you it is probably laggy as well and this is just the day-to-day -day thing we need to work with but i stumbled across something and before you close this video it is a third party program but it is open source it is free and it, it just enhances your life i can only recommend it let's look at this i will download this right now and let's take a look at the website this is asset manager studio it is open source it is free it has insanely great performance and i will just showcase it to you and then you can decide if it's better than the epic games launcher or if it's not okay it's installing all right and it started up so the first thing you need to do is you need to wait a little bit because in a few seconds now there is a epic games login so the first thing you need to do in order to see all your fab assets is to log into your epic games account and it is retrieving the fab asset list so you can either wait or we can continue with the next setup so it automatically detected where my uh, Unreal Engine paths, install paths are, you can add more, so for that just add a new line like this and then add your other paths. But let's go to engines and it has all the versions I have installed like I do, I like I have in my Epic Games launcher. And as usual you can launch your Unreal Engine project, you can also configure some settings here, but I don't need all that, I just want to launch Unreal Engine. You can also double click on everything, of course. You can also install new engine versions, but I'm happy with my current one, so I won't do that. Let's check on the assets, and it might take a while at the first start, because it retrieves all the assets, it retrieves all the pictures of the assets and so on, so let's uh, wait a bit more. And uh, I want to show you one feature that it's my personal favorite, okay? If you go to Vault, you see all the installed uh, products you have here. These images should also load. It is the first startup, so give it some time. When you use it regularly, it knows all the US assets and then it is lightning fast. It takes like one second to load up everything and so on. But you see all your assets here. I already updated all my assets, but if I had an update here, it would show like this. So it would show that I have updates available and it show, would show a yellow border. And then you can just hit on update and it would automatically update your plugins. In the Epic Games Launcher, the way you update products that are not plugins is you go down to your library and you scroll through all that until you see like a little yellow dot, uh, orange shot, and then you need to click on uh, update. But this way it is much easier. You also have some sort of things like date modified, recently added, the size. If you have limited disk space, you can just delete some of those. And yeah, let's continue. We checked out engines. You also have, of course, filters so you can search for something. And you can also have like a type, like project. This is a complete project. I can create a project. Let's check out the assets now and see if it loaded. Again, give it some time. I have like a couple thousand of assets, so, and yeah, that's it, it, it loaded, and these are all my assets. Um, it might lag, but this won't be the case if you use it regularly. As I said, it needs to load like one time every image and all that stuff, and then it is smooth AF. I used it before, like one hour ago, and I was just astonished by this, so I needed to show it to you. Okay. So let's go to the top again. And this is just incredible. Like uh, here, if I go to my Epic Games library, let's go here. We have all these categories that are completely trash. Like why do I need a extra category for gaming and stuff? I can't find my, my code plugins, for example. It is very annoying. So what? is what is here. Uh, you can, for example, search for only for plugins and then you have all your plugins. You can say only marketplace products, then you have only marketplace products, only fab products, or all fab products, or just all uh, products. This is amazing. So this is incredible. You can also search for recently added or date modified and so on. Uh, what you can also do, I want uh, materials now. I have only materials, I want only textures, I have my textures, I want only environments, I have my environments, and so on. 
Okay, let's hit the projects tab. And as you can see, there are no projects because I don't have them in this uh, section. Also, it automatically detected my vault path. This is also great. And we have some extra settings here and you can tweak those if you want. But let's add all my projects into here. So I have this uh, like so. So I have all my uh, Unreal Engine projects in such folders. Uh, I, By the way, I need to blur a bunch of stuff in this video because I have some sensitive information here for future projects for future projects and I don't want to spoil anything yet. All right, I add L to my path to my projects and then I will hit save. And they will just list up like that. The extremely cool thing about this now is you can sort by modified date. So these are the recent uh, projects I worked on and this alone makes this unbeatable in my eyes. It says, Absolutely amazing. I, I just love this. The cool thing about this also is that the developer is very active and he is listening to feedback and he is adding things regularly. So if you have some concern or a bug, you can just reach out to him and he says, okay, I will fix it. And then a few days later or something, it will be fixed. So this is very cool. It has all these features that I just wished I had in the Epic Games launcher. Uh, but we are stuck with this launcher for years now and nothing changes and it even got worse with the introduction of Fab. I'm happy that someone puts their time into making life of us Unreal Engine developers better and completely for free of course. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, I put you the first link in the description to the website I downloaded this from and yeah, enjoy this. this